Hey everyone, I hope you've had a great week. I'm glad you're able to spend a few minutes with me this morning talking about Peter and John. And what I loved about Peter and John in this story particularly is Peter. And I want to focus on him just a little bit today. If you watched the other video on our website, you'll have heard the story of Peter and John healing a lame man. And if you haven't watched that yet, I encourage you to go ahead and watch that now and then come back and finish this video. So in that story, we see Peter and John doing an amazing thing, healing a man. But then it gets a little hairy for them, right? They heal a man and people don't like it. And they tell them, don't do this anymore. Stop doing it. And you see them refuse to stop. They said, who would you rather us listen to, God or you? And we want to do what God says is right. But what gets me and what I find most interesting is Peter in the story. Because just a few moments ago in our story, we see Peter in the garden with Jesus. And Jesus has been taken away and he's being tried. And people in the courtyard look at Peter and they say, aren't you that guy that hangs out with that Jesus guy? And Peter denied him. I said, no, I don't know him. And a matter of fact, that doesn't happen just one more time. It happens two more times for a total of three times where Peter is accused of being somebody who follows Jesus. And each time he denies knowing Jesus. And Jesus even told Peter that he would do it. And Peter said, there's no way in the world I would ever do that. And he did it anyway. We see Peter walk on water because he had faith in Jesus, but Soon his fear took over and he began to sink and he called out for Jesus for help. We see Peter afraid of death. When Jesus says, I've got to go and die, Peter stands in front of him and says, no, I'm not going to let that happen. And Jesus says, get behind me. You don't understand what has to happen. And even in the garden, when the soldiers come to arrest Jesus, what does Peter do? He takes out a sword and he cuts off one of the soldier's ears to defend Jesus. And this is one of the first times that we see Peter not afraid of death or somebody he knows dying. It's just the opposite. Now he understands what God's plan is. He understands who God has made him to be and what his mission is. And he's not going to let anything prevent him from doing what Jesus has asked him to do. And I think the biggest change is that Peter now has the Holy Spirit. Jesus has left, he sent the Holy Spirit, and Peter has that. And it's given him boldness. It's given him strength. It's given him clarity on what he needs to do. And one of my favorite verses in this whole story is in Acts chapter 4, verse 13. And this is what it says. And when they saw the courage of Peter and John and realized that they were unschooled, ordinary men, they were astonished, and they took note that these men had been with Jesus. Because they had been with Jesus they had boldness. They had intelligence and logic that defied their schooling. They went, they're just ordinary guys that haven't been schooled, and yet they have boldness and they have clarity of thought. And they're not shaken. And isn't that awesome to know that the Holy Spirit gives that to us as well? So I want you to take some time and think about some things that, that maybe scare you, that make you not sure you can accomplish a certain task or a certain thing because what we see in peter and john's story is that god has created us to spread the message of jesus to the world around us he's given us special gifts and abilities and talents to do that and sometimes we're a little too afraid that we don't have what it takes but really god is telling us we've got it all along the whole time in Peter's story, we see Jesus saying, Peter, you've got this, you've got this. And we see Peter fail and fail and fail. And now we see Peter being bold and understanding what his mission is and how he can accomplish it. So what are some things that scare you that you need to give to God and say, God, I'm scared of this, but I know you're not because you're more powerful than anybody and anything and you can handle it and give it to God. Let him take your fear away so that you can be like Peter and be bold. The things that prevent you from telling other people about Jesus. Talk to God about that. Ask for God to give you strength and power so that, like Peter and John, you can get past that and become bold and tell the world about him. The Holy Spirit is an awesome, awesome piece of God that comes and lives with us 
when we're baptized. And when we give our lives to God and he gives us that power, there's nothing we cannot do. It doesn't matter if we're ordinary or we're unschooled. God is going to do amazing things through us. And that's what excites me about God and the Holy Spirit is that we can be ordinary. We can be just simple people. But yet God has called us to do big things. And he's given us the Holy Spirit to give us the courage, the strength, and the knowledge to be able to do whatever it is that God has asked us to do. So spend some time this week. Go to God with some of the things that make you unsure, some of the things that scare you. Give them to him and let him take care of those things for you so that you can have strength and boldness to share the message with other people around you. Have a great week, everybody, and I'll see you again soon.